Hi everyone, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Lane Stamper. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, today is June 1st, and if you see a few of my posts, um, I'm starting a kids party, and that will be the second Saturday of every month where you buy a, a kit from the kids collection, whichever one you choose, and um, we meet together either in my house at 10 o'clock that day, that's the second Saturday of the month, or, um, hi Vicki, or we can meet virtually at, I think I have it at 5.30 um, that same day uh, via Zoom, and we put our kids together, so I think this would be a great thing, and the first, <laughs> first um, five people that register for the class will get to choose one of their little, uh, little scissor charm, and I've only made a few of these. I'm going to be making some more in different colors and stuff. Um, so the kits actually go live today. Here's one more I've made. It's a little wine glass. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, um, the kits actually go live today so you can start ordering it. And if you want to participate, um, get your order in today. So, and there are, I think, 10 or 11 to choose from. So there's a great selection out there. And if you um, missed my video on that last week, um, you can search on the Facebook page or um, YouTube, I believe, and you can um, see my little demonstration of the different kits that, are, that some of them that are available, the ones that I bought anyway. But today, we are going to do a technique. And I actually didn't try this until this morning, so <laughs> full disclosure. We're going to make this card here. Now, you'll probably notice everything is backwards again. Um, my iPhone battery died suddenly, <laughs> so it's going to take me a while to get it fixed. But this is the card we're going to make, and we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do alcohol, um, the alcohol technique using um, blender pens. So let us get started. And I'm going to do a different color one this time. Oh, and I forgot one thing I need to pull out here. Um, we'll need to start with some vellum. So just a sheet of vellum. And I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put my phone down here. Let's see. And I suppose I should find, try to find this on my tablet so I can see if my phone is or my desktop is showing up so here we go and I need to turn the sound down <laughs> I never know where the buttons are on this thing there we go so let's straighten this out a little bit so I can straighten this so we're going to um, cut a piece of vellum, and I'm going to cut it a little bit larger than what I want to use. So I'm going to cut it five and a half, and I'll put all the supplies on this later on my blog, so, and I'm going to do four and a quarter. So it's an eight and a half by eleven piece sheet of um, vellum that you start with. And we're going to cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to bring in, because this will be a little messy, this is just um, inexpensive cutting board from the dollar store. Just to keep everything kind of clean. And I am going to put a few glue dots on the back of this, because you'll notice when I start working with it, it's going to start um, curling up a little bit. So, put some blue dots down here. You don't have to do this. Um, I just found it easier to work with this way. Put one in the middle. And one in each of the corners. So, and I'm just going to put that on my mat. So 
the next thing you're going to need is some kind of container to put your alcohol in. And I have these old um, painter's pallets or whatever you call them. I'm not sure what they're called. These little dishes, I got them at the probably Walmart or Target or who knows, dollar store maybe. And then you're going to want some um, rubbing alcohol. And it's going to have to be at least 91%. I had some 70 percent and there's too much water in it so it doesn't work as well so we're just going to put a little bit of that in our tray Whoop. and you want some kind of a brush this is just an old inexpensive painter's brush I had laying around and a couple of um, blender pens whatever colors you choose so and something to blow with this is a just a travel bottle, but it's got to be something that's um, squishy. Some people have used um, syringes, like for babies, for their noses, or the bigger ear syringe with the bulb. Um, some people use straws, and I just thought this, I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I had this on hand, so it worked pretty good. So we're going to start with just a couple of marks here on the paper. It doesn't matter what they look like whatever pattern you want to do. I'm going to do one in the corner, maybe one down here, and then put my lid back on. I'm just going to take a little bit of um, alcohol and go around the edges. And you can kind of see it starting to blend a little bit. And then you can take your bottle and blow on it so you add a little bit of alcohol I actually even did I saw several different ways to do this and you start blowing it around I don't know if anybody's ever tried this I should see if there's any comments And it will color your water a little bit. So I'm just going to actually drop some on here too. And it kind of gave a different effect when I did that. So I love that look right there. And then you might want to have a little tissue to gather up if anything gets along the edges there so now we're going to do a, another one here and you can see it's kind of curling up a little bit okay. kind of blow it in towards the Kind of like that look <laughs> where it looks real splotchy like that. I'm just gonna do it all the way around. And the color I'm using here is um Bermuda Bay, and you want to use the darker colors, the lighter colors don't show up as well. So kind of blow this around. You don't want to use uh, your heat gun because that'll just dry everything up. I think if you it evaporates so quickly that you want to really get at it right away. Ooh, I like that. And so just different patterns there. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing this. Well, I'm really intrigued by the new paper that has come out. The artistics, um, in the artistic, oh, collection. I can't remember the name of it. 
So now I'm going to take some Granny Apple Green and I'm going to go where it's kind of already dried already and add some of that color there. I don't really want to get into the, the blue with my marker and you want to make sure you use the, um, the broader tip. So now we're going to do this, get some more, kind of blend it together a little bit. And then it's kind of pooling on the end, so I'm just going to wipe that up a little bit. Yeah, and then we're going to... I just thought this was such a cool technique. And I like when they kind of blend together. Now, if I had 99% um, alcohol, it might be even better. There's a lot of, I saw, I was looking at quite a few videos, and most of the ones that were done were done by demonstrators in Australia, so, which I thought was interesting. This is a little putsy, so <laughs> it's not for somebody who wants to just get in there and do something done. If you wanted this effect, I would buy the paper, and you, you don't want to go through all the work, buy the DSP that's out there right now. And from here. on it. Nope. <laughs> I was going to bring a straw up to my loft and I totally forgot it, so. Do the green. had a tool actually that was meant for something like this and I didn't know what it was for and I had gotten rid of it but I did see one of the demonstrators using it it was um, kind of a blow thing like this that had a pen attached to it so let's see let's put a little bit more green here that. And let's see, maybe a little bit more blue here. When you're done, if you wanted to, you could um, actually take your heat gun to it and lightly go over it. But I could do that. Let's see. I think it seems you can just go in wherever you want a little bit more color and add to it. And I made it a little bit larger so that if you um, 
do have some pooling around the edges, you can trim it away. So anyway, I think a little bit more right here. There, I, I like that the way it is. I think I'm done. You get to a point where you just like it and then your cleanup is easy. You can just <laughs> take your tissue and soak it up, <laughs> which is nice. And you want to do this in a well-ventilated area too. So I'm going to, while it dries a little bit, um, I'm going to take and set this aside. And I've got a piece of cardstock here that is four and a sixteenth by five and four five. Four by five and a sixteenth, I think. Five and five and a quarter. So I'm going to bring in my little boss here. And I wanted to give you a tip on I'm using um one of the dies. I'm not, I'm gonna use a different one now from the quite curvy bundle. And see what I do with it. Here it is. It's uh, curvy dies. And because this is blue, I thought I'd go more masculine, but we're fine. You know, we can just do dots, the uh, dotted one, instead of the more lacy one there. So, and what I found was, um, I'll just do my, use my plate. Oh, I can't use this one because it's too wide but you know what if I cut this in half then I can do it I'm just going to use two strips so what I found with the lacy one bring that back out here is if you want this lacy portion to go the inside then this is where it's going to cut so if you want this on the inside this is the part that that's going to show it's going to cut this part off and then this lacy part will be on the bottom if that makes sense but i'm just going to use the um the one like this so i'm going to cut the dotted one i don't know what you want to call it and we're just going to cut this through here. Sorry for the shaky table. And so this one was the same way. So I had this this way and you can kind of feel the edge there. So that's where it's going to cut. So if you want your dots on one part or another of your paper, um, make sure that the cut edge is on the part that where you want it cut so if that makes sense I don't know so let's take this other one and I'm gonna I want my cut edge here I think yep I want this a little bit wider on the bottom so lay this here and I really never gave much thought about it before when I used it so until I went to cut something this morning I thought oh wait I, that's not how I wanted it done so and there's that one Let's get this out of here So I have this piece and this piece, and then you can use these other two plain too for another card if you wanted to. I wanted something fairly simple with this paper um, because it is, it fell, <laughs> because it is pretty intricate. So I'm going to take this off. Pretty much dry. 
see on this stains, so it's not a big deal. Because it's just like a dollar for that. So and then I was trying to decide um, what kind of a background I wanted. If I wanted to do the same color as one of the papers. Whoops, the dots on there. Same color as this. Or the green. But I think when I was doing the other one, I actually liked the white because it, um, it showed off the pattern a little bit more. So I'm going to cut this down to the size of my cardstock, which is I'm lay it upside down because I've got those glue dots on the bottom, which is four. I decide which pattern I like. So, whoop, almost cut it wrong there. Five and a quarter. Connect to the blue dots. It's okay. And four. Actually, I like this side of the pattern better. So, four. And you don't have to do, you can cut it the exact same size. I just thought it, if I let, if it pooled too much on one end or another, then you're going to want um, a strong adhesive. So let's see. I'm going to bring out my stamp and seal plus here. Because this is curving a little bit and you want to make sure that it adheres to the whole thing. So I'm just going to run some adhesive along here. This is Stampin' Seal Plus. And then try to line this up in the corner. And along the edge. It looks like I cut it my paper a little bit shorter. So you know that's not a big deal. You just trim it off. There. Good to go. Now, I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat because I'm going to use a photopolymer stamp and I'm going to use the same sentiment. It says, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So, and I'm using Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to I want this one on the bottom, I think. Ooh, I've got ink on my hands. I don't want to get it all over my card. So, I'm going to ink this up. And do I center it there? I'm going to go along the curve of the card for the. There, I like that. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And I think I got more ink on myself. I love this chamois. It looks terrible, but you know what? It works really well, even though it looks like it's stained forever. So we're going to put um, some adhesive on the back here. Put this on the bottom. And then make sure I don't have all the holes poked out of here. Just gonna this one here that's not poked out. If you ever want, if you have an intricate die, and I didn't think of this when I did it, um, and you want like these things to um come out use a dryer sheet underneath the, your cardstock and then we have that and then I couldn't decide I think since I've used the blue ink I'm going to use the um, 
Bermuda Bay for the background layer. So we're going to cut that at five and a half, five and three eighths. So what that is, five, four and an eighth. stock or standard card base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter just use the bone folder there just makes it a little bit easier to line it up with and I know this is upside down so there we go let's see where's the other one there they are, side by side. So, um, I hope you like this. Got my big lap in the middle there. <laughs> I think they turned out beautifully. Um, and it's really, it's not that difficult to do. Just make sure that you have um, at least 91% alcohol. The higher the alcohol content, I think the better off you'll be. But I think those turned out beautifully. So, anyway. I just want to say thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, share this, and um, thanks. For, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Take care. Remember, if you want to participate in the in the Zoom party or the yeah, the Zoom cart kits party, um, get your order in today so you make sure you get the kit that you want. Okay. Thanks. Bye.